Alright, so here we are. This is the Beepex. It... Uh, well, I forgot my wrench, so I could not change props, and we got some jello. The whole BPEX experience. Well, it was very typical. This this quad does not want to exist. I don't know why. Right before this clip, I flew full speed into one of those signs right there in front of us, and broke the... FPV camera, like the, the lock ring. So it now becomes just like gradually defocused the entire time you fly. In addition to that, my VTX or goggles or this location, something is not right. And I don't know what that thing is yet. I'm gonna try to figure that out, but I was having a lot of video issues with both quads. But both quads have the same VTX, so I'm really just, I'm not sure anymore. I think I may have figured out that this structure that, that was just on the screen is possibly always giving me issues. And I mean, if you could look at it, it's, it wouldn't be surprising. see well enough to do like basically within this little concrete area right here I can see it's fine quad work go over here now we're starting to have problems it was really annoying like this here you know can't see must have crashed there better power loop of, of that on one of my other I don't know if that clip made it in here it's from the BPEX I'm pretty sure better if I could see. The 
this was me, I was just like, you know what, let's just take a second. Let's look around. Um, we're in the air. But how often do you get to be in the air? Vibe City. I want, I want some new, well, they're not actually new, they're beat to shit. Props. But, um, the gem fan, the three... F3 or 3S? Is that what they're calling them? <laughs> uh, that feels wrong. I resisted the urge to, to get these because of their name and like intended use and their weight. It just really felt like, okay, you're coming after ethics like hard. And to the point that you've pretty much stolen their name of their propeller which i don't know really super okay with that i mean if you want to make a competing product please do shit if you can save me 50 cent a pair on propellers i am with you please but you know you don't have to we can read the pitch and the weight you know, the length and look at the shape of them and kind of see for ourselves if they might have been inspired by something else. The thing is, they're not that similar. They fly pretty similarly, which I like. When I first tried them out, I was underwhelmed because they're really, I couldn't feel a difference. And so it was like, well, you know, these aren't any better. Here's the thing though, these are more indestructible than one of those like black unbreakable combs. These, these props are old. This is, this is probably the sixth pack that I've flown on them. And I mean, I don't like, like this entire video, I'm having video issues. I'm, the drone is hitting the ground. It's hitting lots of things. It's hitting many objects. And it's fine. So like all that, like I couldn't see. I, did, I could not see that tree. Ah, what's happening? And now just complete can't see, can't see, can't see. 